apologies on no video yesterday, guys. I was out for a little bit, and of course you might notice the manager beard's gone. We're going to take that off in game as we're going to take this headset off. I'm going to place it to the side for a second because something's arrived. It's a Hartley Bull hat. The series is underway! Yes, guys, my head is very, very itchy. The suit is still on, the tie is not done properly, but welcome back to episode number six of the Hartlepool career mode. It's been a day's break, but hopefully nothing changes because the form we were on, of course, spoilers right on your screen right now. And of course, if you haven't watched the last episode, you've had two days to do so. Why the bloody hell haven't you? As we got four wins out of six, we lost to the team we play today and Harrogate bottom of the league which is a little bit concerning, but we're okay as we play them first. Away from home, can't remember the name of the stadium, in the FA Cup, the first round, big, big game, as then we move on to the Papa John's afterwards, another big game. If we can somehow get a point or a win at the Stadium of Light, we are looking quite good to maybe squeeze through in second place. It's us and Fleetwood, who of course beat us last time, with Newport, Forest Green, and Swindon Town after that one. Then it's Port Vale. And December, which is going to be, well, it doesn't look like a rushed month, but of course, if we go through in the Cups, it will get more congested. As the money rating's good, the um, squad's doing okay. I'm pretty excited. As we've even got a message straight away with the um, youth report, Eddie Jones, the loney left back, I think that is, is going to be returning to his um, former club. So that leaves us with one left back at the team. I mean, he hasn't been on the bench, really. We've always been playing with one left wing back. But have we got a youth player that could thread in there when he leaves a left back? We do. Maximilian Johansson, my name sharer. And he's actually higher rated than Eddie Jones. But also on the other hand, we've got two more messages. Goodwin, loan is up. Burry, loan is up. We need to actually try and maybe sign some of them players on a permanent because we don't have anyone else apart from them, of course. And we're losing Ben Killip, so we do get a bit of money in January. Maybe we need to try and buy him. Will Goodwin has been very good. Burry... He's been a help, but I don't think he's going to stay. As here is the team for the FA Cup. You usually still go strength in the Cup, but I've gone strength and a mix of, well, mostly players who, well, I know Matt Daly is a loney, but aren't loanies the rest of them. We're playing with the actual squad we've got. I'm going to take the loanies off the bench, so Sterry for Luke Hendry, as we're going to have Mitchell in goal. McLaughlin at right wing back instead of centre back this time. Odessina, Staunton, Byrne at the back. He's actually got the captain's armband. Take that off him with Ferguson. Molyneux, Daly, and Shelton. So we've still got one of the midfielders predominantly in the team. Still in the team with Norwood up front and John Akinde and striker with Cullen on the bench and Ola Mola. So no Burry or Goodwin. Maybe a bit of a challenge without them, but if they're leaving and they might, well, well, we might not be able to afford them. They might want to come back. We're going to go with that. And Stevenage, sponsored by Prime Gaming. That's a good sponsor for them, as it's Joseph Anang in goal, Luther James Wilding, Ross Marshall, Mackay Townsend West, Max Melbourne, Jake Taylor, Jake Reeves. It's a good midfield partnership. Carter, Reed, List and Norris. Luke Nist and Elliot Norris, actually quite good strikers. He was just behind... Um, nor would want to Norris in the League 2 standings. Don't know, of course, about if he's going to be as good in the FA Cup, though, which hopefully Norwood can be better in as well. I won't mind a cup run going. Of course, we had a pretty decent result against Sheffield Wednesday in the Carabao, but it stopped straight away with Aston Villa. Now, we don't play big teams until, like, round three, so there's chance to get some money together before that as Shelton running at the Stevenage defence going to drop it off of course we're doing very much better than them in the league as that's a great ball in doesn't fall to anyone John Akinde with the volley Shelton misses it and James Wilde to hammer it away big chance early on for us as Odessina that's a dodgy pass but Staunton deals with it still in the defence is Reese Staunton as that's a good pass on James Norwood from the edge and it's just wide. Not a bad start as now Marshall gives that down the line into Carter. Carter gives it back to James Wilding as Taylor now fizzes that across. That's a good boy, you know. That's straight into Melbourne's feet. Melbourne in the middle to Reeves. Into Reed. This is good. Into play. Norris. Daly with an interception as now Ferguson going to give it to Molyneux. And he goes around the corner. Can we try and quickly attack this one? We're going to try and pass that off again. Can we get it out? Matt Daly onto Norwood. This is a good move. Norwood out wide into Conor McLaughlin. Oh, 
tackled. Gotta say, it did feel a little bit clunky there as Luke Norris with a great turn. And that's a great ball into List as it's 1-0 to Stevenage in this game right here. Borough take the lead. And it's a great volley from Elliot List set up by the strike partner Luke Norris. Behind in the cup. The game you really don't want to lose as well. That's a superb turn. Odessina not tight enough. And Burn in the mid middle of the defence, not the midfield. I forgot to take the captain's armband off him, but at least I know it's him who's made the mistake. Shocking letting Liss get in front. And Mitchell could not save it. The assist King just not having it as well. That was a very rough tackle from number 10 Molyneux, and he's got away with it, to be fair. No card shown or advantage. So I'm guessing they're going to just continue on playing as they can. There's now Norris forward up the field. Number 9 onto Reeves, onto List. That's outside of the defenders again. Come on, get across. McLaughlin, he got the ball, but he still lost it. Come on, you're better than that. It's half an hour in, another corner. And we've got to try and get this one away. Just literally 1-0 still, and we're not playing the best. We haven't had many chances apart from the first 10 minutes. There's Dali, come on, counter-attack. It's a Kinde. It's wasted. There's a lot of players shaming themselves on this field right here. One being this guy. However, can he try and change it? John Akinde, not at the best of starts in this game, but he's cut inside right there. John Akinde! And Mang, or Anang with the save. As it's a very good one. Can we get some from the corner though? That looks terrible. However, it hit, it, it did hit Norwood on the head somehow. But it was on the deck for it to do so. As McLaughlin, you can't be getting chipped like that and let your man down the line. Come on, watch Reed as Melbourne. Not long left in this first half. And I don't want to be trailing, to be fair. As Reed into Taylor. That's fizzed into Norris. He's around us. McLaughlin does read that. Straight to Shelton. Now, this could be a move. A Kinde through the middle. Norwood's going to hold it up into McLaughlin. Come on, straight through the middle again. Advantage our way. As Dally puts that across. That's a great ball into Molyneux. Ferguson actually on side for once. Whip that in. Good ball towards a Kinde. Not one. And McLaughlin, you cannot be letting him win that header against you. That is absolutely shocking from the right wing back. Maybe Luke Hendry was the shout for this game as List keeps hold of that one. Into Norris, into Reeves. Come on, half time please, ref. As McLaughlin is, is threading into the centre a bit too much. Letting Reed get too much space as it's a good lofted ball. And List makes it too. McLaughlin, watch your winger. Sunderland man not having a good game at all in this one. It's literally 2-0 to the away side. And not even the away side, but the worse side. As Mitchell came out, didn't even collect it, which he probably should have tried to do. And it's cost us. 2-0. Things have to change at the break, because that was one of the worst halves of football I've seen us play. Honestly, horrific stuff. Elliot List at the brace. We've been playing so good in game recently. And I've got to make some changes. Houlihan for... From Matt Daly, I haven't seen anything from the Loney. I really, really haven't. Smith can wait. Hendry can wait for McLaughlin, but I think he's definitely going to come off. But I think he'll be angry if he comes off now. So I'd rather a bad player be happy than upset. My weird way of thinking is Reed, McLaughlin, mate. <laughs> Where are you going? Maybe I need to revise that again. Maybe I do need to take him off. As Odessina coming across, it falls into Shelton. That's a bad foul, that one. Yellow card should be shown as... Come on, let's get one of their sent off. Not purposefully, but it would be a big help, wouldn't it? As Houlihan, that's a terrible touch. But he still manages to keep the ball now playing in the middle, but he doesn't in the end. Tackled. Not good. As That's even worse. As Elliot List, the scorer on a hat-trick right now with the ball in the box. Mitchell with a catch right there. Pretty straightforward for him, to be fair. And now we're going to try and get on the attack. James Norwood has not been in this game at all. Man marked out of it completely as McLaughlin. Very far forward. And to be fair, that is an amazing ball. Ferguson lets it go over him though. And that is wasteful. Ferguson. I gave you the thumbnail last week saying the assist king. And I've got to say at the moment, despite us keeping a little bit of the ball to ourselves, I've got to say the better team is winning. Hopefully that changes though. If we can try and nick two goals from anywhere as Dali comes on for them. I mean, we've just took him off for us. Maybe he is playing for the other team as John Akinde. Outstrengthened, 81 strength in League 2, you shouldn't be doing that, as Conor McLaughlin, that's a good ball in, and that's a wasted header from James Norwood, it was a free header, as that's a good ball down the line for them as well, missed, kicked, and the most blatant penalty I have ever seen in real life, but of course, it's FIFA, and we've got away with a big one right there, so can we attack from it, Mark Cullen, onto Norwood, this is a good chance to switch the ball across again, that's shown too much to the defender, but Ferguson with the pressure on, and that's been given as a foul, 
No chance. Been absolutely done dirty there as we've opened up to a little bit more of a gap at the defence as we've gone attacking as I don't think we're winning the game at all to be fair. That was another bad tackle from Shelton and he's got away with it. That could have been another red card you know against us but no he's got away with it. Like I said I hoped would happen as can we get one back here? I mean it has to be here if we're going to maybe get two as that's a pass in the middle. McLaughlin is absolutely shambolic at passing today as Burn wins his header. He's not had the best of games. All the rotator players haven't been up to scratch as Townsend West around the corner into James Wilding. Wilding gives it back. Mark Cullen can't jump in. They've given it back again and we've wasted it. That was Shelton as well, our first teamer as the FA Cup does not look good for us right here. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be there for us at all. It's a 2-0 defeat away at Stevenage. Focus on the league, I guess, as that's a horrific game. We're out in the first round. We're second in League 2 and we are out. Oh dear, it looks like a league. If we can't even beat Sunderland next as well, it looks like a league fully focused on, of course, league football, not domestic success, which I'm hoping would have happened, of course, as this game's actually got a lot riding on it, you know. Sunderland up next, and with Fleetwood actually beating Sunderland, it means we don't have to, like, rely on Fleetwood elsewhere, and we just have to get a result against Sunderland. That's all that has to happen. We need to beat the Black Cats. Whoever wins this game goes through, and... It's knockout. It'll go to penalties if not. Group stage is going to knockout. As Will Goodwin's saying, hey, Catherine, I'm not sure what's happened now, but I wanted to stay at the club after the loan spell. And you know that is something I have never seen before and I admire big time. What does his price tag say, though? Because, honestly, I would love to keep him at the club, but if it's going to be expensive, it's, it literally just says on loan. Can I approach to buy him? I can right now. I mean, I've got no money. Why did I do that? He's almost a million as well. Oh, maybe I can offer a player swap, if that works out at all. Oh, Lamola. I mean, that's that's never going to happen, is it? No, they want money and a thing. I'm going to end that now, and maybe we try and loan him another year. Maybe that's the shout. And here is the team for Sunderland. So you can see, it, it is a lot weaker. It really is, but league focus is league focus at the moment. With Sunderland gambling with the first team and then it not paying off is something I really don't want to do because, of course, most of the first team's not fit anyway. With Killip in the goal, probably his last appearance, Hendry, Liddell, Staunton, Lola and Francis Angor, who I forgot can play at left wing back, Crawford, Daly and Houlihan with Goodwin and Akinde. So at least we've got one of our main strikers back up front in Will Goodwin. Bury on the bench, Mark Cullen and Norwood sitting this one out as it's a big ask. And... Quite a little bit of a big derby. Simply having a wonderful Grimsby time. And the team for Sunderland, their fans in full force here at the Stadium of Light. Lee Burge, Carl Winchester, Tom Flanagan, Bailey Wright, Niall Huggins, Corey Evans, Luke 09, Lyndon Gooch, um, Aidan McGeady, Pritchard and Stewart up front. Managed all of these players, of course, in the last save when we actually moved to Sunderland in the road to glory. Let's see what we can do against them this time as Luke 09. Down the line, Aidan McGeady manages to keep that one in and gives it into Niall Huggins. That's a terrible ball, though, that from the Black Cats. And can we actually counter on that? John Akinde making a great run. Niall Huggins, not Niall Huggins, uh, Will Goodwin being completely taken out. Niall Huggins gave the ball away to John Akinde. And what a save from Burge. What a save as Lee, uh, Alex Pritchard, no, was actually the tackler. Okay. I thought he was the one who made the mistake as well as Goodwin hits the crossbar. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just muttering on, but... What a big chance. Should we say two chances as that happened, of course, against Stevenage and they still managed to score two, so I've got to be careful. He's only playing one up front, though, which should be all right for us, but Pritchard, the man who got booked, fires one into the top bin right there and there is no stopping that one. Absolutely no stopping. That is wonderful from him. I'm not even going to lie. It looks like we're out in two cups. With a finish like that, I'm not surprised. It's the captain Lawler, I think, today, who gives the ball away. Yeah, it's Lawler. And it's a terrible mistake, but still an amazing goal. Because now we've got to somehow come back in this one as there was another foul right there. It's his first goal in two matches in this competition as that's a ball through the middle right there. onto Matt Daly right here. He needs a bit of support, please. Come on. Can we get support? We do. Francis Angol. Is he better at crossing than the assist king? I'd say no, but it's fallen to Goodwin and he's put it in. I thought he did the side netting right there. Instant reply for the man who wants to join permanently and he's amazing. Will Goodwin. Absolutely great finish right there. Francis Angol's delivery is actually pretty decent, but John Akinde. 
What a brute to win that header. Just floors his man and gives it to Goodwin with a knee and then a volley. What a goal that is. Stewart with the ball up front for Sunderland though straight away. Pritchard on it into Gooch. They're not giving up. It looks like this game's got a bit of an edge to it right now as it should do. Close proximity of these two teams as Crawford to run away with it right here. The lone, no, the uh, youth players. He lost the ball in a bad position. Stewart hits the post. It's an open net, but Gooch just can't get there. And that's a bad foul, referee. Wouldn't be surprised if a red was shown as it's a yellow, I'm guessing. Yes, for Luke 09, who should have scored that rebound. Big let off for Crawford as Hendry making one of his first appearances. The ex Grimsby man who we had in his Grimsby save last year, don't forget, as Goodwin tries to run with it a little bit here. He's going to thread one out wide. It's into Crawford. Can he redeem himself for his mistake with a good ball? It didn't look too bad. As Aidan McGinney headering it down to Corey Evans as well, who tries to put one over the top. Straight into Lidl. Matt Daly. He drops one off to Hendry. Hendry into Daly again. And, oh, can we just get a pass off? They definitely can. It's over the top again. What an atmosphere now it is. As Gooch, rounders, Lyndon Gooch, the American, has it out wide. As he gives it to Cal Winchester, ex-Forest Green, who we've still got to play today. As Corey Evans in the middle. Stewart, that one's gone in. You could obviously see that went over the line. Crossbar, line, crossbar again. As Stewart... Puts them 2-1 in front. We don't like the Cups. We really don't. And instead of a replay, it's going to see if it's over the line. I mean, come on. Are you being serious? Why is goal line technology even needed? But that one's not over the line. I'm guessing it's going to show it going over a little bit more when it hits the ground. Yes. Why does it show that view first? As Crawford. Come on. It, it wasn't your mistake, that one. But he's not had the best of games, this guy, straight away. With the ball into Goodwin, though, who is our bright spark. We can't forget. Try and get him on the ball again if we can, as that's a good ball in. Goodwin making the run in middle. And can he shoot with that one? He can, but only a P-roll. It's going to be hoof straight to... Holahan right here as we might have another chance. Goodwin pulls that back. Akinde has the overlap and he lost the ball. You can see the pass was registered to go through as at half time I think it is going to be. Yes it is. 2-1 to the Black Cats. Oh we just need to try and break through this atmosphere to be fair. The fans Fans getting in my head a bit. Not to fully stick up to Sunderland, but they are doing very well on that front as Francis Angol with a pass inside. Oh, that is terrible. Absolutely terrible. As Aidan McGeady, if it goes to 3-1, I think we do make some changes, but we're just going to keep going with it as Willis into Stewart. A lot of the ball around here, and Pritchard beaten to it by Lawler. Quite a close one as Matt Daly. Now he's going to go through the middle, and I see a push right there up front, but the ball... Not going where I intended it to go. That's absolutely terrible as Willis gives it into Bailey Wright. Across the back again, Tom Flanagan. That's a good pass into Pritchard as we're just slowly backing off them a little bit more than I'd like us to do as Evans into 09. That's a good pass around the corner. 09 again on it. Pritchard, most of their team's on yellow cards. If we can maybe get a player sent off again, it would be a help as John Akinde has got no skill moves in his locker, has he? So we'll cut in that way as Crawford onto Houlihan. Back into Will Goodwin. Have we got a wing back upfield? We definitely do. Hendry, tap that. Akinde! I screamed and I thought he was going to bury that. But John Akinde with the biggest chance of the game and missed. It's just over an hour played in this game and we've had his chances against the League One side. As Matt Daly gives it into Crawford right here. Crawford into Goodwin, into Houlihan. John Akinde still on the field, you know, as Luke Hendry making a great run. What can Hendry do right here? He's going to cut inside. Akinde in the middle. Pass again. Final ball just lacking like it was in his previous saves. It's creeping in a little bit which is just not what I wanted to happen at all as Willis across to Luco 9 through the middle onto Stewart. He spreads one out wide. 20 minutes now as Gooch somehow gets away with it, but no, straight into Daly and come on, ball straight through. That's a good one. Into Goodwin. Akinde making the run in front of him. Goodwin still keeps hold of the ball. That's amazing from him. Houlihan onto Hendry. Can he be second time? Lucky for Akinde. Just beaten to it this time. Tell you what, Luke Hendry's not bad at crossing the ball as Matt Daly gives it into Crawford. Can the youngster score? What a goal! Crawford levels it up. With 16 minutes to go, the number 22, the youth player making only his second appearance. He's made a mistake in game and it led to them hitting the post and missing. This time for him, it's hit the post and it's turned out to be one of the best goals we've scored in this save so far. What a hit, son. It's off the post and in. Norwood's coming on as well. The backup is very strong as what a goal that is. 
take a bow, Crawford. Honestly, that goal. I mean, I said we played really bad against Stevenage. I won't say we've played well again here, but to be drawing to a League One side, it's a good result so far. Still, we want to go through in this competition as the ball in front just not working. They're fully strengthened as well, don't forget. We aren't, as now Hendry with a throw-in straight into Houlihan, into Hendry again. Goodwin has one more pass on to James Norwood, who's just come on the field. Very fancy footwork, but not working out for him in the end. As Houlihan gives it across to Matt Daly as well. On to Norwood. Norwood around the corner, you know. Hendry did have a bit of a chance. Doesn't go for it, though. Matt Daly into Houlihan. That's a smart turn. On to Goodwin. That's a very smart turn! And I knew he was scoring once he did it. It is 2-1 at the Stadium of Light. We've turned it round late on and it's a brace for the man who now, I've got to say, has to stay at the club. We've got to get a million pound from somewhere. He has to stay. He's my favourite player so far. What a slick turn and finish. I mean, he's going to be coming off now. As we look to just get some pace into the team. And of course I want to rest him for the next game. Dramatic moment in the end in this very, very tight game. Might be putting us through to the next round of the Papa Johns. What an achievement that would be against two League One sides in our group. That is absolutely amazing. We've both gone full strength as 9 round the corner. Gooch, don't let them get themselves back into that game. That's a terrible ball anyway as Hendry to just receive that one. I mean, fitness has done as well, very, very well here. Rotating the side as Hulhan's not done well in this game, to be fair to him. But he's a league player, as he's kept the ball still somehow into Crawford. We might be getting man of the match for that goal. Into Norwood right here, across. We've got a chance for a cross as well. And goal in the middle, Winchester with a block, as can we find ahead with this one. Going to put it near post. Matt Daly, that's almost to a player, but just not reaching anyone as Hulhan. Heads it across, Lawler, nah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, the hat has put us through into the next round of the Papa John's Trophy, who needs the FA Cup anyway, when you've got extra money from going through into this competition, second round, and you've beaten a League One club, if you would have asked me who should be going through, I would have said all day Sunderland top of the group, but they're the team going out as Tom Crawford, he, he says he might play left wing. I mean, he wasn't left wing. Don't know why he's saying that, but you will do for me. I am very impressed with that game. As Newport County is the game up at the weekend as well. Back into league action. As we've had nothing said on the Papa John's. We should have gone through, shouldn't we? Have we not got a rearranged game? We should have gone through. Yes, we do. Away at Ipswich. Yeah. A team in the league above. And I don't think we've got much money for that, which I am... Quite disappointed, and I thought you did get money for that. As anyway, we'll go into the next game, shall we? With this team, I mean, look at the bench as well. Hendry over McLaughlin, he's not been playing too good when he played against Stevenage, so he's in the reserves. As Mitchell's starting, Sterry back in the league with Odessina, Staunton, Francis Angol, and Ferguson. Houlihan, Featherston, and Shelton with Norwood and Goodwin. It's our strongest team. Akinde on the bench with Burry, Crawford still there over Molyneux, you know, who didn't play well against Stevenage as well. So we are going to try this one out. Go to the central. It's at home against 10th place Newport. Please don't let yourselves down. As they have done. They have done. It's a brace from Wilmot. Ah, and of course we bloody lose. I hate simulated games. I really do. As now Newport are in the playoff places. And we drop down to third. I mean, we're still in automatics, to be fair. So we're not doing too bad. As who are the two teams we play? Forest Green... And Swindon. Where are both of them? Okay, so it looks like we're going to be playing Forest Green. They're in ninth, and Swindon. Swindon Town recently relegated in 22nd spot. What is happening to them? I mean, I don't know if they have money troubles in real life. I don't think they do, so that's really weird. It's talking about Will Goodwin's loan setting to expire. Can we go in for a... A loan deal again? I'm guessing when he goes back to his club, we can because we just can't afford him. If we could raise the bloody money, I would snap him straight up. What a striker he's been. And he's even staying in the team. Usually, when loan players are leaving, I go back to playing the, uh, the players who are going to stay in the team once they're gone. But for this, I just can't kick him out. He's been absolutely spectacular in game for us. Has any of the uh, youth players reached 60 rated to get promoted? Pierre Kramer still on the brink. Yeah, that's the philosophy. No 60 rated, no first team for the uh, youth players only, apart from the uh, ones that slipped through the ranks before I was manager, like Smith, like... 
Crawford, but Crawford's actually doing pretty decent, as we're going to go with this for our next lineup. Molyneux over Dali, who of course is another lone player, as it's the exact same team. I'm not going to walk through it, actually. I'm going to go straight into Forest Green, the third and final played game today at home, with hopefully a chance to try and just boost ourselves back into the race with Bradford. And the Forest Green team that travelled to Victoria Park is Luke McGee in goal, Kane Wilson, Dominic Bernard, Okoda, Goodwin, Malath, and Jordan Moore Taylor, Jack Stevens, Ben Stevenson, and uh, no, it was Edwards, wasn't it? And Adams with Jamal Matt. And no, I have said Stevens and Stevenson. I missed out Edwards. There we go. All cleared up. That's Jamal Matt. I, I, I do somehow still love the guy after he left Grimsby as well. Just a beast and a unit. And hopefully not a good player when against us, as Wilson. With the ball straight into Adams right there. He's a good attacking midfielder. This is going to be a very difficult game. I think Forest Green should be up in the top three spots, if you ask me. Very, very nice squad. And our top of the league, I think, in real life. As Jamal Matt into Matt Stevens right here. And they could be starting with the lead. It's saved and it's a penalty. It was a terrible tackle. And it's a red card for Reece Staunton. What a terrible start that is to the game. I didn't think it was a red, but he did take him out without the ball. Terribly timed. Very terribly timed, so we're back to four at the back. As Jamal Matt has the penalty. Can we save it with Mitchell? It's... Oh, it's in. I'm going to say it's off the crossbar. And it's a horrific start for him, and it's in. Ten men, one nil, Forest Green. Oh, dear. Looks like there's some empty seats as well straight after that goal, maybe. As it is a good finish, just blasted in. And there were no saving that, even if I did dive slightly to the left. One nil. The challenge is back on as Goodwin... Through the middle onto Norwood. James Norwood oh, runs straight into Adams. This is this is looking very bad. And it looks bad because Norwood has stayed down. If he has to come off with an injury, I swear down. We are absolutely finished. As now Wilson gets the ball out wide a little bit. They're just keeping it as they need to do. As they matched our formation as well. Forgot to say that before. Just with an extra cam as Goodwin. Can he do it to Norwood who is actually injured? I saw the arm, uh, the... Uh, Plaster injury sign, whatever, as Goodwin's running it himself, though. What a player, but not a good passer. Yeah, not very good. As Norwood now, anyway, he's still on the field. I'm going to try and see if it asks me to take him off. If not, keep him on as Goodwin with the ball right here. That was meant for Norwood. Maybe he could have got a goal before he departs. As the ten men right here doing very, very well. That's got to be a foul, aren't it? No. Oh, ref, you're just having me on right there, aren't you? As Matt drills that across. Into Evans and Adams, come on, we, we, we're doing okay for ourselves, just this is going to catch us out, defending, come on, Evans, running across is Odessina, in the middle, blocked, still falls back to Evans, as that ball in the middle is a good one, come on, don't dive in, Sterius, it's a shot, and it's 2-0, oh no, get Norwood off, get Bury on, it is not looking like a good day here, who's ringing all around, I mean, we're just beating Sunderland, be a bit... Be a bit fairer with me. It's, it's a very, very bad game. A very bad game. This might be worse than the Stevenage one. But I don't, I don't, I don't think you need to boo right yet. And I can't hear the Forest Green fans singing cheerio. Leaving when we're actually still third in the league. Come on, boys. Give us a bit of respect, fans. As the gap to Bradford's going to be nine points. I don't have faith in them losing. And Crawley Town. We're going to drop out into the playoff places. But still, if you would have given me playoff places... At the start, or this point into the season, I would have snapped your hand off as Burry. Can we work for another goal? We just need to be more savvy with the ball, which wasn't there. And Adams with the ball in the centre right here. onto Edwards. onto Evans right there as the half-time whistle has gone. 2-0. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not very good. No changes to be made. We've already made one with the injury, so... Yeah, very bad half, need to improve. Ferguson starting with a throw in in the second half, straight into Nicky Featherston, through the middle. Shelton gets that pass off, and Goodwin is on his bike, you know. And Burry's actually lifted a really good ball over. He's usually not good at passing. Goodwin strikes it. Can we get that in? McGee, what a save as we still get the cross in. And it's chested to the keeper's hands. Now, that was the biggest chance we've had. Good start to the second half, but Luke McGee. That was on fire from him. And seeing as the game does look kind of done, if we don't get another goal pretty pronto, 
I'm going to go attacking. I am going to risk it for a biscuit. I'm risking a thrashing, but managers have got to do that sometimes. Especially when you're fighting to stay in the automatics. As that's a misplaced pass from them. Burry with the ball straight onto Featherston. Oh, and Goodwin couldn't keep on side. I do like how this attacking move has actually put us a bit more on the front foot with 10 men again. I keep saying that. I keep repeating myself as Burry needs to make the bloody move. As Shelton now has it. Gives it into Featherston. Featherston into Goodwin. On to Burry right here. Burry puts it across into Sterry. Sterry. Back into Burrit. We're trying to get a move together a little bit more here. Now that's good. It's out wide. It's chipped into the middle. Will Goodwin just shoulder to shoulder. No strength. And Adams, I've got to admire that. That is a great header. One as March is going to march them away. But Ferguson, the left wing back. And no chance is that a foul. Come on. Just don't give that. As it's into Adams right here as well. He's got a man on the other side. Into Sweeney. Sweeney gives it back. It's on to Jamal Matt. Please, no. Can't have him scoring a brace against us. I would I, I would just collapse in my chair as Stevenson has given it into Wilson right here. Wilson gives it back. Not long left, you know. And to be fair, to keep a clean sheet with the way we were playing in the first half. In the second, is something to build upon. Still not great. As Featherston... Into Goodwin, shouting for it on the right-hand side. It's Sterry making the run forward. Does more than, of course, McLaughlin does. And Francis Angol, oh, putting his body on the line to win it. He wanted a free kick, but no. Play on, mate, as Nicky Featherston hasn't got a goal in game, and he's going to try and keep the ball. Get out of his bloody way as Shelton on the edge. Houlihan, oh, that needed to go through. That needed to go in, never mind go through. If we're going to get anything from this, which I don't think we are right now. Only four minutes to go. I'd, I'd take a goal at this point. Put a good thing on for the fans who, of course, have stayed. And hopefully get their money's worth. There's now Odessina around the corner. Houlihan into Bury. That's a good ball. Good win. That's one back. We've got one for the fans. And get the ball. To be fair, there's still a little bit left. Does I've pulled the bloody microphone out. And we made two changes straight after this as well. As there it is going into the back of the net. Come on, I've took Burry off again. Even though he did just come on, John Akinde, I, I've made a mistake putting Burry on. This team looks like it needs strength against them at the back. So we've got one added minute, if we can get the ball to the other side of the field, that is, to see if it works. Burry probably not happy with that as the ball's going to go out. Oh, and the full-time whistle goes. If that goal against McGee when he made them two amazing saves would have gone in, we might have stood a chance. But Goodwin, of course, doing himself proud up in his tally and giving the fans a little bit of something after a very generally poor performance. Dominated at home as we dropped to fifth. In fact, joint with seventh place now as Reece Stoughton's picked up a card and four weeks without James Norwood. And we're into a midweek game against the team who were in 23rd in the relegation zone. I hate, hate playing relegation zone teams. So we're going to go with this team. Mitchell, Sterry is very tired, but I'm... I'm I don't want to change it. Simulated games, and we do need something. With McLaughlin, Odessina, Francis Angol and Ferguson, Houlihan, Matt Daly and Molyneux with Akinde and Goodwin. James Norwood out. Featherston out of the team. He's very, very tired. So can we get something away in Swindon? It's a very big ask. And we actually do get in. We don't lose to a team below us for once. John Akinde, Mitchell Lawson and Matt Daly scoring his first for the club. But to be fair, I've just seen... They were down to 10 men. It's not us getting a player sent off. Very, very good. As we'll end the episode right out here when we see our league position as we are... We're up to second again somehow. And to be fair, I underestimated Steven Inch in the FA Cup. I've seen they're just third. Everyone on 29 points below us, but that's big. Seven points between us and Bradford. So the gap has increased, but still, I'll take being a little bit closer as some youth players right here. I mean, I've got to reject them. I've got no money. So that is going to be it from me for today, guys. I think, I think we've done pretty good for ourselves. We've got 10 wins already this season. Well, 11. Uh, domestic success. We've failed in the FA Cup. Just doing a little check here. We need to make the profit, but I want to sign Will Goodwin. And the youth players will be fine. And we've got them in the academy. Start up. Thank you guys for watching. Got the hat on now. You can see how much I'm committed to this save. As hopefully you guys are too. Smash a like. Comment, share, and subscribe with the notification bell on as well if you haven't done already. As I will see you all tomorrow. Definitely going to be a video tomorrow. And yeah, see you all there. Take care in a bit. And ciao for now. Peace.